Can't Me a 400. Let's talk about it. So Harman just released their Cadmia 400 on medium format and you might know Harman from Phoenix 200 or already know Cadmia 400 for 35mm and I picked up three rolls and I just wanted to test out how well it performs on the different light situations so I took out my Mamiya 7 and went out to take some street shots and just share my experiences with the film and how it was like shooting it. I focused mainly on taking some silhouette shots, so I wanted to have the subject strongly backlit by the sun. So in this image I wanted to have my subject light up by the strip of light that you can see that's coming from the side, having my subject walking up or down the stairs. Here you can see the subject walking across the frame and as I walked by I saw the bright back wall and the framing done by the leaves around the back and I had to take the image twice because on the first image as you can see there was a person walking in front and in the second picture I think it was perfectly framed and I really like how the subject stands out from the rest of the image. As I arrived on the park deck, I took some pictures on top. And when I went a level down, I took a picture where the light's coming through. Uh, you can see how much detail there still is in the shadows and pretty contrasty, but I still like how much information you still get out of the negatives. So the idea behind the next two frames were that a person is walking into the frame but unfortunately I missed it twice but yeah I just wanted to show you that not every frame that you take can be a winner. I really love this image. I wish I had a little bit of a longer lens. I had a 80mm on my Mamiya 7. I could have cropped the image a little bit tighter but I just wanted to show you the whole negative.
You might already know Cadmium 400. I personally use Cadmium 400 because it's one of the cheapest black and white film I can get where I am. I usually shoot Ilford's HP5 and Kodak's Tri-X. I really love how contrasty the images are with the Cadmium 400. And one thing I noticed with Cadmium 400 for medium format is that the grain is much less noticeable than on 35 millimeter. But also in my experience, Cadmium 400 needs a lot of light. So so it's better to overexpose with this film than to underexpose. So I've yet to test Cadmium 400 under soft light or cloudy conditions. If you have any experiences with that, please let me know in the comments. I would be really interested if you guys have any examples or any idea how it would look like under soft light. So yeah, overall I'm really happy that we have another film to choose from. It's keeping the film community alive. It's also good to have competition between film manufacturers and hopefully this keeps the film prices competitive down the line. So if you have any other suggestions or experiences with Cadmium 400, please let me know so we can share this and improve all together with this film. Thank you and see you in the next one. <music>